Good morning. I hope that uh, the sun is shining where you are today. It's another beautiful day in Crowborough. Absolutely glorious day. Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and crawl. Come on in. How are you? How's it going? Come on, grab a seat. There's loads of us in here already. Always get to the party early, don't we? Just means you can get front seats. One of the neighbours is mowing his lawn, which is nice. It's very quiet nowadays. You know, we live on quite a busy road and, um, and there's just a, a real absence of traffic nowadays. And I, I actually like that. Um, you know, you can hear yourself think in the garden, which is quite nice. Yeah, so there you go. And when Dave gets his strimmer out, he's breaking all the rules. Come on in, good morning. Nice to have your company. Come on in, welcome to the Shack Shack. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Andrea. Come on in. And please forgive me for not name checking everybody as you come in the door, but the whole hour will be gone and we'll just be going, hello, 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 hello. So let's have a look. Are you there? I'm looking at a, br a black screen at the moment. So my hope is that it hasn't gone wrong. We seem to be struggling with the uh, internet at the moment here and I'm not quite sure why, but maybe Jim could just text me to let me know that actually I can ignore the black screen on this camera. Um, that would be brilliant, Jim, if you could just do that. If somebody could just let me know, because we haven't started yet, just let me know that, um, that actually it doesn't matter if it says, sorry, we're having trouble playing this video. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mind game. Um, just let me know that it's okay, and then I'll just carry on undeterred. Come on in anyway. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. We've got a little bit of a, we've got some gremlins in the system this morning, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I just need a text from somebody to let me know that everything is fine. Can you still see me or has it gone shtum? Let's have a look. Good morning, Sue. Good morning. Cool. Lots of Sues today. Do you know it's Earth Day today? Dee Fitzsimmons texted me this morning. She said it's Earth Day. And, uh, and what's really cool about that is that on Friday, she's showcasing on her chanda, she's such a lovely woman, she's showcasing a new uh, collection of her stamps, which are so beautiful. And there's a little, there's a little character and she's called her Innocence. And uh, she's so beautiful. She's just gorgeous. And I think you'll, you'll like her too. So, so don't forget to join, join Dee in, uh, in the studio at, um, I think it's eight or nine o'clock in the morning on Friday. Early morning, early morning. Um, not seeing anybody telling me anything here. Um, Jim's obviously disappeared for the morning. So can somebody just text me and let me know that this is working? Because it's 9.58, that's why we get here early so that we can make sure that it's working. Um, it's just a little bit disconcerted when you're looking at a black screen. You know what I mean? Uh, come on in. Come on in. Please. No, Jim's not there. Shame. Um, not to worry. We'll crack on. I don't want to stop it and start it again. That's my problem here. So I'm just going to, because it's not 10 o'clock yet, let me just call somebody and find out. Uh, or can just somebody just... God, this is awful. <laughs> this is just what you don't want. Working okay. Thank you, Sheila. Somebody's watching. Whew. That's all I needed. Just somebody to say that it doesn't matter if there's a black screen there. Thank you, Sheila. Much appreciated. And now I think it's 10 o'clock nearly. No, not quite. Not quite. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sheila. What a weight off my mind that is. Come on in, loads of you to the party. Welcome. I'm just gonna switch that black screen off. I don't even like looking at it. it. Just makes me uncomfortable. There you go. Not looking at it now, ignored it. <laughs> oh, the technology. Maybe the streamer's using all the, um, all the juice outside. 
Right, good morning. It must be 10 o'clock. Let's get going. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And today is Wednesday. Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. All we need is a piece of paper, a pencil, a pen, an eraser pencil. And we doodle, don't we? And we doodle. And it calms us down. And I, for one, need calming down today. How about you? How about you? You know, we were saying yesterday, or was it Monday? I lose track of days. We were saying that it seems to be the longer we're staying in this lockdown, uh, for me personally, the harder, <coughs> excuse me, don't cough, <clears throat> back off, um, the harder it seems to be um, to be getting. It does for me. And so I found myself doing some bizarre things um, and I think it's about control, if I, if, I, if I think about it. Come on in, grab a cup of tea. Oh, that's calming, isn't it? I, I think it's about getting some sort of semblance of control, like sorting things out. So yesterday I was sorting out the cutlery drawer. I thought, what? This isn't one of my priorities usually, but all the little forks in the little fork section and all the big forks in the big fork section, you know, all lovely. Then, yeah, I just I don't know what's going on in my head, but I feel the need to sort. I'm sorting at the moment. And I think it's my, my little way of having a semblance of control. It's about controlling the controllable. And I can control my cutlery drawer. <laughs> I'll show you what else I did. It's only taken me a month. I figured out, rather than have them all strewn all over the counter, I can put them in a little pot and then I can see what numbers they are. Boom. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. And then I thought, because I've, I've got loads, you at home, I know many of you, well, as we're doing our daily doodles, you use it in a kind of a journal and you've got a diary going and you write it all out and it's all lovely. And I have just got a pile of pieces of copy paper and I put the copy paper to one side and then I shoot off in the next direction, trying to keep clarity afloat. And so today I thought, right, I'm sorting this. And so I thought I would use it as an opportunity to have a little recap as well, so that we can all have a look at where we've, where we've been with this doodle session. Do you know this is week four now? It's quite astounding when you consider where we, where we started out. And this is all just so, that, come on in, come on in. This is all just so that we can keep each other company, that we've got somewhere to go every morning, haven't we? You know, this is so important for me and, uh, and I hope for you too. I know at the weekends I'm totally rudderless because I don't have my doodles, but I need the weekend to sort out my, my knicker drawer. <laughs> so let's have a look. What I did was I took a file, any file. I took a groovy one. Doesn't matter, I can put a label over that. And then it's an A4 file. And what I did was I started at the back because I thought, well, we're going to be going for a while here, aren't we? So I started at the back with the number one, right? Let me show you. And, and I put in, so this is exactly the way that the, um, the days have rolled out. And we started on the 30th of March. Let's just have a little recap while we're all hanging out. And then those of you who are new to the party will see what went on before. And those of you who, um, who have been in here since, who's been with me since day one? Let's have a look. Who's been doodling along in the shack shack with me for the whole of April? So remember the little birds on a wire? That was the first thing we did. And then we did the, the tree. Do you remember the tree, the little birds in a wire and we did a tree, didn't we? Like a hand. So that was, that was episode two. And then we did, this was episode three, that was on Wednesday. So I felt so much better when I put it all in a folder. I mean, I know little things in that, but I feel so much more in control, at least with this. This too shall pass, remember the little wabbits? And then we did, um, then we had a little bit of a glitch and we had to do a tester. So that's what that's about. So that was episode four. That was what threw everything out of sync really, but that's okay. We left it in there because it was quite a nice doodle. I might come back to that one. Then on the 2nd of April, we're only on the 2nd of April now, this was episode five, let the sun shine in, and we got into the flowers, didn't we? That was quite nice. So we did that one. 
Then we did Happy, and I remember that was a Friday, the 3rd of April, and, and everybody was really, over the weekend, you posted so much of your lovely work on Clarity Worldwide with that one. Then on the Monday, do you remember, we came in and we tried to do the sidebirds, and we had a right old challenge with them and a new flower. So that was the Monday, episode 7, 6th of April. Then we went to, and then we, we started getting really ambitious, didn't we? And we did the bird table with the side birds. That was episode eight. And then episode nine, we went and did the bower as well. So that was two days there, wasn't it? That was the 7th and 8th of April. Pretty impressive, really. Then we went on to the shack. Do you remember the shack shack, the house that Jack built? Now that was the 9th and the 10th of April. Episode 10, we did the shack, the house with the tiles, with the cedar, with the cedar wood tiles. And then episode 11, we learned that frame, which everybody liked. See, a lot of people on Clarity Worldwide have been asking, where did you get that tubular frame? Where do I find the tubular frame? Answer to that question, it's episode 11 of the shack shack. That's it there. Right, just in case you're wondering, that's where we did it. And then the next one, ah, oh, right, so now, I wonder if you remember, this was the weave that we learned, that eluded a lot of us, but it had to do with the hot air balloon. So the hot air balloon, this was three days we worked on this picture. We did the hot air balloon, we did half of it, didn't we? Then, oh, that was episode 12. Then episode 13, we did the gondola with the weave. Right, we did that bit, that was funny. Then on episode 14, we did the, that was the 15th of April, we did the frame, that lovely netting frame and the scene in the background. So that was that, up, up, up and away. And then, okay, so then we did love, or we did, we did a heart and we started incorporating. So this was Thursday and Friday last week. We did episode 15 and episode 16 on the 16th and 17th of April, just to have a recap. Look how much we've learned and how far we've come and, and how many things we keep rolling in Right, so this is a, that tubular, um, that tubular border again. So that then was Friday, and then oh, and we also for homework. Do you remember we did that flower, the peony? That was also on the same day on the Friday. Now this Monday, two days ago, we had we had we'd all well, I'd had a bit of a wobble, hadn't I? I think a lot of us had because it was like it's that Monday anxiety thing going on, and so we just decided to screw it right back and keep it very simple. And we did those lovely photo corners and then we did a little bit of a few flowers, brought the peonies in, learned how to do a couple of little flies. So that was Monday the 20th of April. Smile. Do you remember? And then, oh, and then this is where we are now. So what we're on now is episode 18. We started yesterday and we started on the kite, didn't we? That's where we're headed today. That was what we did yesterday. We did the kite, didn't we? So I need that one. I need that one to keep going. There we are. And my point is that I've I've I feel so good about filing this, you know. I just it it's 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 the it's the cutlery draw syndrome for me, you know. And um and I think I think a lot of it is because we are so powerless over this, aren't we? And this, all this negative news and awfulness, I can't listen to it anymore. And the finger pointing and the blame game that's going on, you know, it serves no purpose. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. We, it is what it is right now. And this is what we've got to deal with. And this morning, for the next ever so many minutes, what you and I are going to do is we're going to get our pens and we're going to get our papers and our rubbers and we're going to park all that, all that outside our front door. We're just going to leave it there. Just leave it out there for a minute because we really, you'd be, you'd be more constructive sorting out your knicker drawer and your cutlery drawer at this stage because at least you're doing that on your own. <laughs> right. And you can, look, folders, we've got, we got a warehouse full of folders. Get some folders. Start sorting. I'll put them on a special price for you, okay? Right. So that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. And we're going for it now. We're going for our kite. So let's have a little look, shall we? 
and you'll see as soon as you start it will all just fall away right so we've got our kite and tomorrow now I've written all over it tomorrow I'm going to make a, a picture in the background with you we're going to make a frame but today we're just going to do the shading look how different that looks to that look how three-dimensional one is compared to the other one and so what we're going to do today is just let the focus let, let the focus come in it'll get sharp in a minute right what we're going to do today is going to just add some shadow look at the, that's what we should have right now and this is where we're going so we're going to add the tail add a little doodle on those little bows okay and then we're going to just add some shading and what I find is with the shading it's very relaxing because you've done all the all the detail work we'll have a little doodle on these though let's put these in first while we're on it right so have you got your pencil have you got the start of your cut good morning come on in how are we doing how are we doing let me just have a quick read I have a book for the doodles yes perfect I've been here every day I've been with you since day one I know you have Andrea Come on in. Right, pencil, and then what I think we'll do is, should we just do it with a, we'll do a swirl, right, like so. Well, that's a bit of an extreme one. That'll do though. It's windy. And then what we want to do is create the illusion of distance. So if we were gonna do a landscape, perhaps, that's a little bit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shorten this, because otherwise my landscape's gonna be miles longer. Look, that'll do. Let me shorten this a little bit so it comes round to there. That'll do. Now that looks... <laughs> I think I'm going to go back to me a cutlery drawer. Look, all I had to do was make a line and I couldn't even get that right. Oh, it's just going to be one of those days. Grey. Right. Okay, start again. Now, keep your finger there so you don't go further. And then just start like that. Hey, grey. Where there's a will, there's a way. Hey, I'm a poet and I don't know it. Look. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start, this is like um, a triangle, so you go like that. See? I don't know, let's go, let's go tighter. What you're doing is this, you go up like that, look. So it's like a zigzag, look. See? Easy. So you start there, start small, get larger, go tiny, right? So if you look at mine, see? Start small, get a bit larger because it's closer, and then as it goes down into the distance, drops into the valley, gets really rinky dink. Okay. This is the hardest thing we're going to do today. So take take heart. Right. Zigzag like that. Right now we're going to go a bit bigger. The trick is to go slowly. Right, here we go. Larger. Third one's biggest. And now I'm going to get a bit smaller again. Now, if I go that small, well, all right, great, that'll do. Right, if I go that small, that's rubbish. You can see I'm having a crisis today, can't you? Can't even do these. But you know what? That's okay too. Let's do a couple of larger ones so I can get a few patterns going. That's better. Um, it's fine. How are you doing? Can you even see what I'm doing here? There you go, so get your zigzags. And now I might go a bit smaller. So now it's coming away, it's going down into the valley. There you go, a little bit tighter together. Look, tiny, tiny, winky dink. Might make a little bit of an extension. There you go. So when you look at it now, it will look as though it's swirling away from you. That's all, it's not rocket science. How you doing, come on in. Come on in. And then what we'll do is, we'll let's do a little doodle on these. These are very simple. I'll show you, I'll show you in large, so you see what we're up to. So say that's your, your, di your, do your bow, right? Let's say that's your bow like that. And then what I want you to do to get the right pattern is make a line there and a line there like that. Okay, and then a line there and a line there. So what we've ended up with is, is 
a, triang a triangle with two lines like that. Right? And then what we'll do is, let me just get rid of this line here so it doesn't confuse you, my scribble. Right, okay. And then what I want to do is the following. So you're going to come down like that on that side and then go up to the centre and down again. Turn your paper, right, and then go from there back up there again. So basically you come from the outer edge, come from the outer edge and you're going to go down to there. So you're going to go like that, making another little line, just a pattern look, and then go up to the centre and back down again, not too close, and then you've got to give yourself enough room to make another little line. So you're going, should we do one more? Like that, look. Oh, for crying out loud, Barbara Gray. Right. <laughs> right, shush. Okay, ready? So you're going to go like that, and then like that, and like that, and then like that. And then you go down that side, up to the middle, down again, and back up that side. So you go from the from the from the outside in to the centre, up, make a little peak, and then back again. And that's all you've got to do. That's it. The reason that I'm encouraging you to figure this one out is because in a minute, maybe tomorrow, we'll use that in our border. Okay. So let's have a look. And let's just do this. I reckon we could probably pen this as we're going so it doesn't take so long. Uh, micron pens. Micron pens. I've got an 005. Oh, let me have a look in my stash that I've organised. Number one. Right, here we go. Okay. I'm going to use the number one for this. So I think I'll go... Right, you ready? So down we go, sweeping through. If you need to stop, stop when you get to a bow. Like that. And then go up, over, up, up, up. Like that. Zigzag across, up, down, over. It's quite good, you know. It's quite a good little doodle, really. Number one pen. So we're going to do this lovely, simple doodle. Come on in. How are you doing? Are you are you doodling along? Are you making the kite tail with me? Or are you just drinking your tea and enjoying the company? Either way is fine, you know. There we go. See, I'm settling down now. I was right manic earlier on. Boom. It works every time. It works every time. I'm spiralling. I've got a hornet's nest. It's mad. And then within five minutes of doing this, <clears throat> my shoulders are relaxed. I'm not so freaky. And I'm sure the same goes for you too. It's, it's the process, isn't it? It's about, it's about getting out of your head and getting with your hands. And it doesn't matter what you do, what you doodle. It's just important that you doodle and my job as I see it is just to give you a little bit of a direction because I think it's quite hard especially if your head's going like a washing machine it's quite hard to to hang on to something and to to just motivate yourself isn't it it's quite difficult to self-motivate sometimes especially at this moment and so all, all I my job as I see it is just to give you something and even if it's a kite with the tail hanging off it just a little pattern that you have to focus on you have to concentrate on and the minute you concentrate on this little bow you're not concentrating on all that stuff that's parked outside your back door at the moment so let's have a look can you hear me can you see me are we happy where are you where are you we're still here we're still in Crowborough Dave's gone shopping Oh, he's running the gauntlet this morning. So be interested to see what he comes back with. Every trip's an adventure when Dave goes shopping. But I'm very grateful that he does that because it keeps us safe, you know. I haven't been to a, a supermarket for weeks and weeks and weeks, ages. And I, you know, 
I'm lucky that we can go to this wholesaler. Having said that, though, I hope he's got some yoghurt. And you get what you're given, do you know what I mean? It's not, you don't have the selection that you would have, say, at Sainsbury's or Waitrose, but, but hey-ho, you use what you've got, don't you? Right, are you ready? So let's keep going with this. Everybody happy? Smile. Smile. It's difficult to be miserable when you're smiling. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Didn't somebody write a song about that? Right, now, let's have a look again at our tail. You ready? I bet you've already done it, haven't you? And you're waiting for me, like, come on, Grey. Get a wiggle on. Okay, uh, 005 I'm going for now. And I'm just going to put my mass production now. So I'm going like that. I'm going to do all these first because I've got my eye in. How about you? See, even that, working out a system, just working out the best way for you to actually do this is good too. Maybe you do one at a time to completion. See, I prefer to do this first. So I've done that, that, and then I've got a little box on the inside. Now it's getting a little bit like woo -ah. Oh, sorry about my head. <sighs> sorry about that. Did you just see the top of my head? Have you noticed I'm going grey? I know. There you go. Dave and I went for a walk in the Bluebells yesterday. I said, I'm going grey, Dave. He said, I think it's very, what was the word he used? Elegant. I said, thanks for that. He said, it's very elegant. Distinguished, he said as well. And I thought, well, there you go. So I'm going grey and I'm looking distinguished. Right now, so we're going to go down, up, up and over. Down, up, up, like that. So this little pattern. So you go down, up, up and then the little squiggle. Like that. There you go. We did something else yesterday, which was really interesting. Our friend Hazel told us that there are um, like satellites in the sky. So last night at 10.30, <clears throat> Dave made, it's called, um, it's called Golden Milk. And it's really lovely. And he makes it with um, turmeric and ginger and honey and uh, black pepper and oat milk and it tastes absolutely fantastic and so he made us both a big mug of this lovely golden milk which is very good for you and then we went outside at 10 30 in the evening wrapped up warm and lay it wasn't that cold really and we lay on the the lilos outside the garden um beds that we've got right now i'm going to have to change what i'm doing here because this isn't now i'm just doing a couple of little lines right and we lay on the garden beds and right now what you've got to do is make a little knot in the middle of each one there you go yeah so we lay on the garden beds and we watch the sky for about a good hour and then i kid you not right we saw a shooting star we saw Oh, eight or nine of these satellites. It, it was absolutely brilliant. And there, was n there were no cars outside. There was an owl. And I thought, when was the last time? When was the last time that I ever appreciated just looking up? And the thing is, I couldn't look like that because my neck's killing me. So lying down on the bed, it was brilliant. Because you just lay there and the, the sky was so clear. And then we were like, there's one, there's one. It was so romantic and just so cheap. It don't get cheaper than that, does it? Hmm? Mug of golden milk and a lilo. <laughs> but it was, it was amazing. It was really, really, it was so busy up there. It was so busy up in the sky. Did anybody else do that? Who else? 
was hanging out in the garden. Was there anybody doing that apart from us? I bet there were. I bet there were thousands of people all over England. Right, should we do some shading now? Are you ready to do the shading? Because I'd like to, I'd like to take this now. See, and what we're going to do is we're going to add shadow. So the first place to add the shadow, I would say, is under the cross. And so it's going to be on this side. Let's pretend that the light is coming from there. The light is coming from here. So the shadow is always going to be on the other side. And once you get started, like let's put some shadow. Let's get your pencil ready. Let's put some shadow here. Once you just put one line in, then you'll remember. I'm going to put some there. Mind the, mind the leaf. If the leaf's hanging out over the top, you don't want to go there. Right, let's come in on this camera so you can see it better. Right, so I'm on, I'm on this side of that strut, right? And I'm coming down here. And remember, once you, at the moment, I'm just doing little feathery strokes, like that, look, you can just do little feathery strokes, all in one direction. So you can do a dark line, like so, and then little feathery strokes, actually that one's underneath, so there you go. Because this particular, this particular rod here is the one that's right at the front, apart from our little, our little lash, lashing. I hope it's called that. It sounds awful. Um, our, our tied knotty thing in the middle, right? So you just got to look at it and say, well, what's under what? Do you know like when we did the Love or the Dave or the NHS, you know that lovely um, last Friday? It's the same kind of thing. You've got to decide, well, what's underneath? And then just make it elude it's the illusion of of depth isn't it see so what you're going to do like if that's the line there then what you're doing is along that line you just if i do it slowly then you'll see i'm doing that like from the line out 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 on top like so it's almost like you know when we do white work on with the parchment groovy it's like that and then if you once you've done it that way, call it hatching, like we've talked about this before, then the next thing is you go the other way and you can maybe go a bit further with this one, right? So with this one, you're reaching out across that hatching and you're coming out a bit further. So what you'll see is that this is going to be feather, featherier than the one that's up, up tight against that side. And you'll, you'll find you get a speed going as you do this. And the best thing about shading that I like is if you don't like what you've done, you can take it right back with the eraser. Look at my little wubber. Look. Oh. Right, see? So you can take it right back like that. So, back to my pencil. We come in here. We're just going to do that one first. I find shading very, very, very relaxing. This is a great one. Right, and in there, remember we're going to... That's going to be quite dark in there, isn't it? Because it's like a stuck in there, isn't it? It's in there. So, so like we did the photo corners. Remember when we did the photo corners? Like that. And then round this side here, I reckon that'll be quite dark there. See? I'm not touching. I'm not touching the paper very hard. I think that's the key. Is to as like when we go when we start doing the colouring. You know, I said next week we're going to start start adding a little bit of color here and there right and what you'll see is when you start adding the coloring you don't press hard you 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 add layers it's layer on layer on layer on layer if you press hard like with the polychromos or the pergoliners because they're like oil based if you press hard what you end up doing with them is you 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 create like a like a sheen and then you can't add any more colour. So, so that's a really good thing to, to figure out sooner than later is that you, you don't want to press too hard because you'll seal the colour. That is that is these, these oil-based pencils that are really beautiful for colouring. I mean, they are your artist's choice, really. Have a look. They are your artist's choice. Um, but they do... Both, both, 
both of the pencils do that. I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. Right, let me lean on. I'm leaning on my artwork now. Let's put something there to lean on. Right, and now we're going to the next one back, which is going to be this one here, isn't it? Everybody happy? Are you okay with this? I hope that you're enjoying this. It's very relaxing, this one. Right, so darker line like that, and then gently, gently across, like so, see? And straight away, that will look really dimensional. Right, and that one's behind, so I can put the shadow in front of it, you see? It's clever, isn't it? And while we're there, we might as well put a little bit of shadow in there, because that's dark. See, if you work this out with a lead pencil, with a cheap old HP, HP, HP source, as a parliament, no, HB, right? If you can work this out with an old HB, then when you get to do your, your colouring, you'll, you'll be so, so much easier, right, to get that real lovely colouring that we're all wanting to achieve. So you can see straight away, just by doing those two lines, you can see how it's already, let's look above, you can see already how that looks dimensional, doesn't it? Isn't that interesting? Just those two bits there. But now, if you want to do the trellis work, then of course, we've got to get in every single box. And every single box is going to be that side, same as these large ones really, underneath and there. So it's underneath there, and there, underneath, like that, and there. Let's do this one, and then you can see it. So you're going to go under there, can you see this all right? And then that one there. And even if it looks a bit ropey at the moment, because we haven't graduated, we haven't, we haven't um, done our feathering or our cross hatching here, have we yet? So it looks a little bit ropey. Next top tip, get your Get your pencil and make a chisel. Look, I'm going to use this. Just If you do that with your pencil, then you'll end up with a flat side. And that will be much, much easier for shading. It graduates. If you're working with a sharp end, that's better. Right, if you're working with a, with a, sharp, a sharp nib, then it, you're never going to get that lovely graduated. It's, look how much easier it is. All I've got to do is press a little bit harder and then not press so hard. Piece of cake by comparison. Right, so in there like that, right? And because of the chisel on my pencil, it automatically is more graduated, it's gentler. There you go. So when we, when we go to do the colouring, as I say, I'm gonna be using, you can use any colouring pencils you've got. Of course you can. But I have to pick my flavour of choice, don't I? And I've got, I'm going to show you, I've got two, I've got two sorts that we, that we, I, I love and we sell. We own Pergamano, so we've got the Perga liners and they are very affordable. They're nice, but they're affordable and we've made them more affordable now as well. I'll show you them. Right, see, see how you can see exactly when you do this, you can see exactly, look, isn't it ridiculous? You can see exactly which one looks dimensional and which one doesn't. You can see where you've missed a bit and where you need to go back in. It's quite comical almost. Right, so these ones here, right, in you go. I find this so relaxing. Look, there's one I've missed. You want to avoid the leaf. See that? Come out this way a bit. It's easy though, isn't it? Shading is really, really good. And that's why I think it'd be good to get some colour going. So many of you have ordered the postcards. And that's good too, because it means that um, we're all going to be singing off the same hymn sheet, which is great. Because if we've got draw the pictures ready to colour in, that's going to take forever. So we've got some really good, lovely postcards. Loads have already gone out. Loads are going out again this week. Right, there you go. 
and then and then next week we'll start integrating them into our doodleology, into us into our f daily doodles. Right, but you see how look so so easy this is. Right, let me you catch up there for a minute, and I'll show you while you're just doing a bit of that. I want to show you the pencils so you understand because a lot of you are not familiar with with the pencils. If I show you, for example, the Perga liners. Okay, so the Perga liners, these are, normally you'd think they're for parchment, but they're also fantastic on, on card and on copy paper. So what we've got here, we've got the B pencils and we've got the A pencils. A is aquarelle, so that means down the road, depending on how long this lockdown lasts, these are great because you've got watercolour pencils up this end, right? And then up this end, the B pencils with the white writing on, those ones are blending pencils. There's those oil-based ones that I was talking about. So you've got about 16 of them and 20 of the watercolour. That's your perga liners. That's why it's called a combination box. So, so they're an option. They're, they're a good price on the website. Website, claritystamp.com. Now these ones, the Rolls-Royce. Okay, um, these ones are normally a lot more expensive. We've got these on, on offer as well. So we've got 60 in a box. I think that's plenty. And these are, like the B pencils in the Perga liners, these are all B pencils. These are, so you get a much, much better, bigger selection of the B pencils. But they, you get what you pay for. Those are the Faber-Castell, they're professional ones. Very, very lovely. We sell those as well. So those are the, those are the pencils. These are the pens I'm looking at. These are what we use all the time. These are those uh, Micron pens. So that's what we've been using for the inking up. And then the postcards, if you're new to what we're talking about, these are the postcards. These are the colouring postcards. And they're going to be what we're going to be reaching for. They're lovely. And they, they just, they're, they're just loads and loads of artwork that we could get our teeth into. So I could say, right, go to the blue one. Let's get out the, um, the hummingbird and let's do the hummingbird. And then the other thing is the way that these have been put together, look, or we could do the, the, um, the birds, the blue tits, the garden birds. Um, and, and the other thing is that we could also, or the kingfisher, he's a nice one. So what we can do is take, we can take a picture like this and then we can start doodling into it as well. So, so this is great. These are great. We're, we're, um, so we're sending them out, we're sending them out. That's what we're able to do at the moment, which is, which is wonderful. So, right, so that's why I'm just, I need to explain, I need to explain to you where we're headed because my guess is we're going to be together for a lot longer and if you're going to continue with the doodle I don't want you to feel lost you know and and if for example the you you've ordered the the postcards and they haven't arrived then I'm sure that we'll figure out some kind of digital download you know just for that day until they they do arrive but that's you know that's down the road we're working look at me I've got my Dame Edna's on look <laughs> Party. These are really strong and so I can see better what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so how are we doing for time? Oh, we've got plenty of time. But you can see the doodle, the shading really, really makes the difference, doesn't it? Now, where did I put my thing to lean on? How is everybody? Are you on the doodle? I just need to find out which way my chisel's going. That's it. It's a softer, it's going to be the softer side. There we go. So we've got the softer side. And yesterday, so the that side, there's no there's no shading on there at all. So it's that side and that side. And then when we when we when we stop later, you can go through this and you can have a really good look at where Look at it logically. I think the thing about shading is, don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't have a degree in art. I really don't. I don't. I. I have a an O level, and even that wasn't great. Um, but it's just about looking at things. If you if you look at things and you apply a gentle hand, you'd be amazed how the shading just it works so easily. Just look at it logically. And the best thing about this is. When you're doing that, when you're doing this, you've got to concentrate, especially on this kind of trellis work, because you've got to think, well, so if you start, if your mind starts to wander, 
down the wrong path, then what will happen is you'll cut across the leaf and you, the leaf's at the front and you're not supposed to cut across the leaf. Then that spoils the illusion, see? Because the shadow is behind. So all the time you're doing the shading is very relaxing for me and I, and I think you'll get it if you just let go and just relax into it. Let your shoulders relax a bit. I can feel your shoulders are really tense, Maggie. Relax your shoulders. Come on, Maggie. I can feel them. There you go. Isn't that better? And you, Sue. Just let your shoulders go down a bit. Because all the time you're tense, it's not... The benefits of shading aren't really working for you. And you can feel, you can hear in my voice, as soon as I focus, my voice gets slower, start concentrating on what I'm doing. Breathe in, breathe out. I tell you what, if push comes to shove, I'm going to start doing those meditation videos. Not videos, cassettes. You know, like... And breathe. There you go. How's that? Lovely. There you go. And then all of a sudden, this one, which was as flat as a pancake, has now got that lovely dimension. And the thing about it is, the thing about this is that you've learned how to do that trellis, okay? And so what you could do is you could go back to Monday and you know when we did, let me show you in my book, in my, in my folder that I've organised. Where we go back to Monday, right, I'll show you. So when we did that one, that one, like that, what you could do, if you felt inclined, you could do that outside and then you could do the trellis. Instead of in a kite, you could put it in here, couldn't you? Right? Maybe make a box in the middle, like smile, so that you, you do the trellis outside, right? So you put that in the middle there, then you do your trellis around the outside, then you do all your weaving, and then it looks almost like, a, like from a garden, do you see? Rather than, it's exactly the same thing, isn't it? You make your squares with your ruler, you go that way, you go that way. You do exactly what we did within the kite, but you do it within this frame. And then if you wanted to put a word in there, you just remember to put a little box in before you start doing the trellis. That might be really lovely. So I might try that myself, actually, because I think that would look very pretty. And now what we've got to do, all we've got to do now is just add a little bit of shadow to, to this um, tail. Should we do that? Let's have a look. So now the tail, this is very, very nice. And we'll, we'll just add a little bit of shadow. Let's see this. So what I'm doing, if we look at the large one, all I'm doing is adding the shadow there, yeah, there and that end because that will make this look rounder if you do that. It's just an illusion. So you go to that end and then you flick, 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 flick. I mean, these are much smaller, so you won't have to flick so far. <laughs> do me a favour, while you're watching this, so that this, this doodle, daily doodle session that we, um, we, the royal we, that we're do that we're enjoying together, so that it goes a bit further than just us. Will you please just follow it, like it, and share it? If you do that, you'd be surprised how many people. I just know that this is good for you. I just know it because it's good for me, and if it's good for me, it's good for you. Look, it's just doodle, just simple doodles, and I think. If Alexandra, if you're watching, you know, these are the young, these are young, young pupils, school children 
who who were very creative and I know that grandchildren they will enjoy this immensely and there's no cost attached look what you've got to do is just go back to Clarity Stamp YouTube they're all recorded for you they're all there for you all you've got to do is just work your way through them now this time I'm going to flick my pencil round so I'm not using the chisel because it needs to be a little bit tighter see so you go in there and you'll see just by adding a little flash of shade at either end what you're doing is you're leaving a white bit in the middle see and that will give the illusion of that gives that round illusion just by doing that is that working all right can you see this okay I had the weirdest dream. I woke up, you know, I think the, the weirdest, the, the most bizarre dreams are the ones that you, you have, like, just as you're waking up, don't you find? Now I'm using the chisel now just to go down the side of this, look, just down here now, just gently down the side like that and around there. Yeah, so I had this dream. This was ridiculous. And I woke up, I said to Dave, we got married. Well, we did get married. We got married a couple of years ago. But in my dream, we got married. And then we were in this hun the honeymoon suite, right? This was the weirdest hotel I've ever been to in my life. I think it was because I said to Dave, I'm not going to stay in any hotels anymore. I don't want to stay in a hotel anymore. I've got a phobia now. So I said, so I woke up and this hotel, right, the honeymoon suite, it was full of cuddly toys. <laughs> what? What? is going on right the bed you couldn't get in the bed for cuddly toys they were they were piled so high on this and the bed was only like a single bed it was like a children's room really it wasn't a honeymoon suite certainly not a honeymoon suite that i would have enjoyed right so, <laughs> so this honeymoon suite right was rammed full of cuddly toys dave wasn't happy and then and it was also in a shopping mall so it must be all my subconscious things are all coming together at the same time. So so I'm in this shopping mall, in this in this honeymoon suite that looks like a toy shop. And as I'm and, and then I said to Dave, right, I'll wait for you outside. And then I went outside and the bathroom <laughs> This was the weirdest thing. So the bathroom, it was like a goldfish bowl. I could actually see Dave in the loo, right? Except just at the, just at the point where you really didn't, you know, like watershed, right? The, the smoked, it was like smoked glass, but the smoked glass was just a little bit darker along that area. <laughs> so he had no idea. There were all these people milling around in the shopping centre and he was having a whiz. And, and you could see straight through into the bathroom. This was our honeymoon suite. I know what was going on in my head I have no idea but I woke up and I think sometimes if you don't if you don't sort of spill the beans immediately and say oh, let me tell you my dream by the time you've woken up and cleaned your teeth you've forgotten it haven't you that's that's how I find I, I have to I have to tell it quickly or but even in the writing of it it starts to fade as you as you kind of establish consciousness it's weird isn't it dream the dream state yeah, so I woke up, I've been in the mall, I've been in the mall, in a, I got married, the, the, um, the honeymoon suite was like a, a cuddly toy department in a store, the bathroom was, um, was like a goldfish bowl, <laughs> I don't know, if there are any dream analysts out there, I would love to know what that's all about. Yeah, everything came together at once. So I've added a little bit of shade around there. See, doesn't that look lovely? It looks so dimensional. Now, what about this one? Get the chisel going. And now you're gonna go real tight to the edge. And what you wanna do is really go from one bow to the other and then come up, just because otherwise it's just too difficult. So you get the end of the chisel in on there and then you just, see, and if you lean over a bit, is this working for you? There you go. So you just come round and you just stay close to that 
tail like so. There we go. And then that's, that'll do. Wunderbar. And that is the, that is the, the, the kite really. I mean, the only other place that we have still got to do a little bit, you can see immediately, compare the two. See, everything's right except this, this edge. Look, see how that edge there is flat. Isn't it interesting? Now watch this. We'll do it from upstairs so you can see. And I'm making sure I've got my chisel right. And I'm going to come along there. Yeah, I can feel. I know when I'm my chisel's in. And then just as I just did with the tail. Oh, hang on. Get a bit tighter. Right, in we go. So with this, because it's quite a long, a long plate, it's a long thing, I go like that and then I stop and I go back over. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of moving down. So you start there and you go like that and then you go back halfway up. Do you see? So you, that way, you get a constant line, but you, yeah, there we are. So now I've got my depth in there. I'm going to, now I'm digging my, I'm coming up a bit on my haunches almost. And I'm digging my, um, my, the tip of my pencil into the line. And then you'll see that that gets darker then. You work it out. There you go, get darker in there. And if you overcook it, then you know what to do, don't you? You get your trusty eraser out and you go again. Where am I here? There you go. If it's too too much, you can always use the eraser pencil to to create your your ombre or your not your ombre your your graduation. See. So like if I think I'm, I'm overcooking it, there you go. And I feel I've got a bit of a line going there. Right. When you use a soft pencil, you can actually use your finger to um, uh, get rid or soften that edge. See, this is quite a soft HB. There's all different ones, right? But you can use your pen or you can use your rubber, can't you? Just go in and just tidy it up a bit. I, I prefer to use my, my finger just to soften that up a bit. HB usually is soft enough to be able to do that. So let's have a look. How are we doing? A whole hour of doodling again. I'm feeling a lot better for it. I hope that you are. It's good to have your company again. Um, and tomorrow, what we'll do tomorrow, and even if you didn't do the kite, don't worry about the kite, tomorrow we're going to do a landscape. And I might integrate it so that the kite's kind of floating around in front of it, just like we did the hot air balloon. But it doesn't matter if you didn't do the kite, that's fine. You could just do the landscape with me. It's really pretty. I've got it in my head. Just got. I've got it in my head. I've just got to put it on paper. But I, it is nice. I know. I've been in between the the dreams that I had and the and the golden milk on the lilo. I've been thinking. You see, and that's another thing about this doodle sessions. These daily doodle sessions. It's so important that we do this every day because it keeps us on our toes. It's like a daily workout, isn't it? You know, it's not once a week, it's once a day. And it's always at the same time. It's like, do you remember when we were kids? It's Friday, it's five to five, and it's Cracker Jack. Most Brits would know that from our age group, wouldn't they? My age group. Do you remember? I used to love Cracker Jack. But it was always, I'm sure it was five to five on a Friday. And, and so this is the same thing. It's every day at 10 o'clock. We get together and it keeps you going. And if you haven't then all you've got to do is think, well, what did I do at 10 o'clock this morning? Let me go back to that. Let me get back into that safe zone. Let me clear my mind again, you know? See, I'm, I'm already thinking what we're going to do tomorrow. And then you can post your work, your lovely work, over on Clarity Worldwide, and the company continues over there. The company continues over there. This isn't competition. Nobody's judging your work. It's got nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with that at all. It's all about keeping you company so that you're not isolated in your isolation. And on that happy note, because you're not alone, we are all in this together, I think we'll call it a day. So, uh, 
you know where we are. We're over on Clarity Worldwide. We're on Groovy Worldwide. Don't forget the weekly download. We do that weekly because Groovy parchment art just takes longer. And so, so uh, every Friday, there's going to be a lovely download, a project for you to do. Uh, now, what else? Tonight at six o'clock on telly, I must tell you, we're launching. So we've been busy doing the VTs, the videos for Hochanda which is another, they're, they're really great as well. And, and so we're launching um, our product on Hochanda. So they're there to keep you company too. Six o'clock this evening, um, we've got some videos, really lovely, they're called Floral Friends. Some of you may have them, some of you don't. The stencil stamps, dies and groovy plates, really lovely. So head over there too. And you know, the craft world is just, it's just alive. With, with creativity, with people, with people reaching out to keep you company. And we're doing our doodle every morning in the Shack Shack at 10 o'clock from Monday to Friday. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. So be safe, be sensible and I'll see you tomorrow morning with the kite up, up and away. We're going we're gonna to go fly a kite tomorrow and we're going to make a lovely landscape just where we'd love to be right now. Okay, lots of love to you. Bye-bye now. And now I have to take it off. One man and his band went down.